Hello everybody. I just wanted to jump on here and say hello to all of my YouTube friends and to come on here and share with y'all what my dehydrated vegetables turned out like. Okay, this one here is the sweet potatoes. I've never ever done sweet potatoes before. So I thought I'd give it a whirl and see what I come up with and how it turned out. But Listen, very crunchy. So when I make my dogs homemade food, I'm going to throw some of this into my rice. When I put my rice in my cooker and I, I use my water, my rice, and I usually add some sweet potatoes, some spinach, some carrots, some celery, whatever I want to throw into it and my dogs eat. I usually add chicken with chicken broth, and I make up a big batch, and I, I store some of it in the freezer for them, and they have it for their supper, and sometimes for their dinner. So, yep, I am always making their homemade dog food, because they're getting very finicky and very picky, y'all. But anyway, this is how I store my dehydrated foods, and all that celery I did up, this is how much it made. It really shrunk in size. <laughs> Let's see if I can get it open for y'all. Oh my. Okay. Alrighty. This is what the celery looks like. The reason you have to blanch this is so when you put it in whatever you're going to make... So it will re-dehydrate re and become big. It kind of makes it come, come big, you know, become celery, like big pieces of celery instead of small. But that's what you need to do if you want it to dehydrate, I mean, to re-dehydrate right in your, in your soups or whatever you're putting it in. That's why you, uh, you, uh, put it on a stove and you cook it for three minutes. All right, this is the green onions. This is what this turned out like. Let me see. Oh, I can't get this stuff open. Y'all think I'm catching cold. Nose is running. It's going to run out the door. All right. This is what my onions look like. Mm, they smell like onions. I usually throw some of this into my, uh, when I make my chicken stir fry, I usually throw about a half a cup to a cup of these, uh, dehydrated onions into my, um, stir fries. So, yeah. Y'all need, everybody needs to get them a dehydrator and dehydrate some food. Save some space in your refrigerator, some spaces on your shelves and your freezers. You can also dehydrate meats. I've done chicken for my dogs, and I've made beef jerky for us. All right, here's what my carrots turned out like. I've not done my carrots. This is what I've done in the past. So, yeah, this is what they look like. Nice, pretty, and orange. And dehydrated. So that's the carrots, the onions, the celery, and the sweet potatoes. And... Um, how I seal these, uh, I've not gotten sealed right now because my food, fresh food saver, food saver is not, got no electricity and I don't know where my plug is to charge it. So, I cannot seal my jars. And this is what I use to seal them. This is the wide mouse. You just put that down on there. Let me see if I can. Oh, I can't get on there. Oh, shoot. Anyway, you just put that down on there. Well, you can't have these rings on here, only the tops. That's why it's not going on. But you just stick that on there. See that hole right there? And you see this hole right here? You just. 
Put that right there, push that down, push down on it, and let it suck the air up out of it, and it seals it. So that's how I store my um, dehydr dehydrated things that I dehydrate. So, they also, these also come um, in the small cannon drawer ones too. This is the wide mouth, the wide mouth drawer uh, thing. But they have the small ones for the smaller uh, drawers too. I just need to get me one, y'all. Anyway, I just wanted to come on here and share that with y'all. This is how I dehydrate my stuff, how I store it, and how I um, preserve it. So, y'all, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, hit like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to go down below, tap the red bell, let you know when I've uploaded my next video. Y'all have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful weekend. Bye.